This is a switch up. I'm actually using natural light. As you can tell from the caption, I want to be honest. Okay, but for seriously, those of you who haven't seen my last Q&A, um, it was like two videos ago, I answered a lot of your guys' questions. Some of the questions I didn't answer because first, the video, <laughs> my Q&A video was already like 15 million bajillion minutes long. I just wanted to take these and discuss them separately and be 110% real with you guys, so let's do it. Some of the questions that you guys asked in my last video that I did not answer were one, what happened with my last relationship? Two, how do you deal with insecurities? Trace, what is your relationship advice? So, what happened in my last relationship? What happened with me and Mason is obviously between me and Mason. But if I'm gonna be out here you know, expressing myself and my life and who I am to the world, then I need to be upfront with you guys. I mean, I don't need to be, but I would like to be because if I'm not, that makes me a hypocrite, right? <sighs> what happened, mainly, I'm gonna speak for myself because I'm not gonna speak for him. He's his own person. I wasn't ready for a relationship. It's not that I didn't love him because I loved him very much and I still love him and I will always love him as a person. We broke up because of many reasons, but the main reason was because I cheated on him. Now before you go and jump down my throat and tell me that I'm a bad person and you know just all the all the baggage that comes along with the whole stigma of cheating. I just want to say the reasons why I did what I did were solely my reasons. They weren't because I'm a bad person. It wasn't because I didn't give a shit about him or our relationship. I was insecure and I was hurting and yeah, I made a fucked up decision and by all means, cheating is not okay. Most of the world, you know, cheating is just one of those things that that's not acceptable, you know? I never told him and then when I told him, he said I can't do it anymore, you know? like. You fucked up. And I did. And I learned the hard way. And you know, a lot of people have given me shit for it, I've been judged for it, I've been put down for it, and I'm just tired of letting it own me. And if I'm gonna be real with who I am, then I'm gonna tell you what happened. And that's what happened. There's no energy, there's no hatred, there's just growing and maturity, and I've grown and matured so much since four months ago. As shitty as it sounds, everything happens for a reason, and that happened for a reason, and no, it was not okay, and I do not agree with cheating. I don't think you should stay with someone if they cheated on you. I deserve to be broken up with. I'll admit that, 100%. I guess that's out there, and it's your choice to judge me for that, and not believe anything I have to say anymore, but honestly, it was a mistake. We all make mistakes, and I'm learning from them, and I'm learning from that one. It's the best way to go about it, you know? You gotta take what you've done in life, and you've gotta flip it around, and you gotta look at it in a positive light. A positive light over here. I'm not gonna really drag it out and make this whole dramatic thing. Um, that's what happened. Next question, how do I deal with insecurities? This is a good question. It kind of rolls off of the last one. I was very insecure with myself and my relationship and, you know, everyone has insecurities. We can't deny that. Our generation specifically is most vulnerable to insecurities, I believe, because, you know, social media and just everything that's going on in the world, like we have so much to live up to and all this bullshit that when I think about it, when you really think about it, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, I get so caught up in Instagram and my pictures and the way I portray myself and my hair and like fuck my hair and like this fucking screen. You know what? I'm gonna close this. <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird. I can't see myself. 
but now, you know, that's an insecurity. Like, I feel like I have to look at myself to like make sure that I'm like, I look good, you know? And my body isn't perfect, you know? Like, yeah, I work out and I get good angles and I get good lighting and I flex in my pictures, but no one's body looks like that 100% of the time. Like, we are human, like, we are supposed to have a normal body, you know? And like, people get very hung up on the perfect image. So how do I deal with insecurities? The best way to deal with insecurities, in my opinion, um, is to accept them. And you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, okay, what is it that I don't like about myself? What is it that I'm not comfortable with? Like, for the longest time in middle school and high school, I was so uncomfortable with talking. I thought I sounded really gay. I thought, oh, like I didn't sound like all the other guys. And I would let, I would let that keep me from talking in class. I would let it keep me from talking to my friends because I was so hung up on my voice sounds so gay and just bullshit, you know? What I did was I wrote a list down of the things that I didn't like about myself and I looked at them and I said, okay, you know what? It's my choice to accept these for what they are or to stay hung up on them. And then at the end of the day, like, no matter what anyone has to say about you, someone could look at you and say, you know what, you are the most beautiful person I've ever seen. And the next person will say, you are the ugliest person I've ever seen. And you cannot take what anyone has to say about you, whether it's good or bad, and take it personally. Because you are what you think of yourself. And when I look at myself, I say, you know what, I'm not perfect, but I accept that I accept this. It sounds so cliche, but love yourself for who you are and every piece of you, you know, like the pieces that you don't like, the pieces that you do like. Because no matter who tells you that they love them or they hate them, it's not really up to them, because they're not you. Sorry. <laughs> All these people are walking by, and I'm like, gesturing and talking to myself. And yeah, I'm talking to myself. Now I'm talking to you. They walked away. See, they probably think I'm a fucking crazy person, but am I gonna let that ruin my day? No, bitch, I don't give a fuck. The next question was, what is my relationship advice? What I personally believe is that you are not ready for a relationship until you are completely, 110%, completely reliant on you and no one else. That was my problem in my relationship. I wasn't 110% in, I wasn't even 100%, I was 50. And I would take my relationship and fill the other 50 and that was what completed me, that was what brought me the gratification. And I'm telling you, that is not healthy. I think that's one of the biggest problems with relationships today is people think that they need the relationship to complete them. You don't need that. You need to be okay with who you are before you can go out and find the love of your life, before you can go be married and have kids and have a healthy, happy relationship. It's not possible. So my advice would be, Find yourself. Don't worry about finding the person to complete you, you know? And that's the other thing about social media. We are constantly fed this image of goals, relationship goals, these perfect couples. No relationship is perfect. I don't give a shit how perfect they make it seem. Look at my last relationship. You would think we were the happiest fucking people on the planet and no one knew about our problems. And it's like everyone has problems. Everyone has relationship shit. Like. It's inevitable. My advice is to stop letting that depict what you want in a relationship. You're both standing on the fucking edge of a cliff, making out, and there's the blue ocean. Oh my god, relationship goals. That's not real life. Relationship goals is when you can be with someone and they can look at you at your lowest point and accept you for who you are. There's this little like mantra, I don't know if anyone's heard of it, but it's one plus one equals three. Basically what that means is one whole person plus one whole person equals three because three is the relationship. The relationship itself is a separate thing. You love that person completely, but you understand that the relationship is different from you. My goals, my dreams is different from their goals and their dreams, but our goals and our dreams together make our relationship. That's a whole separate thing. And I think that in itself is what a healthy relationship looks like. Yeah, this was another serious video, and it's just nice to get everything out and for people to hear it and to, you know, react to it, either in a good way or a bad way, it's still connecting. I guess I just want to say, wherever it is that you guys may go in this journey of life, to remember to not let these questions overwhelm you. Yeah. This is Matt. This is me. 
take it or leave it. I'm still gonna do me. And I encourage all of you to do you. But yeah, that's it guys. So just spread love and positivity, you know? And to continue to feed the good wolf. <laughs>